Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here then hi and welcome my name is Sam I'm 31 and I am a mum to two little ones so I thought it would be a nice idea to do a video dedicated all to self-care ideas today now this is come to me with it being Mother's Day just gone but it's not just aimed at mums it is for absolutely anybody who feels the need for a little bit of self-care in their life at the minute which let's face it I think we all could do with remembering to make sure we squeeze in a little bit of self-care every now and again. So here are my top ideas for self-care. So eating well, this is really, really important. Now I'm not saying be on a strict diet, cut out any of those naughty treats that you might like to indulge in every now and again, like I definitely do. I mean, eating well, make sure you get off to a good start with your day with a healthy breakfast. Make sure you're squeezing in your fruit and veg where you can. Make sure you're getting plenty of fluids in your body. Now, I'm not one for really drinking water on its own. I do tend to have like cordial juices, sugar-free ones, and I will drink a lot each day. I make sure I've got a big water bottle and I fill that up the beginning of my morning and all through the day, just keep refilling to keep drinking and make sure I'm hydrated. This will definitely make you feel a lot better. A good motto to remember is eat good, feel good so just remember to get all those nutrients and vitamins in you and plenty of water and you're off to a great start so what do i mean by invest in yourself now i have always been one for not really spending much money on myself especially now having two little ones my money seems to go on them i don't mind spending 50 quid on a new couple of outfits for them and then for myself it's like 10 pounds every now and again it just you just don't do it and um, there's probably a lot of you out there who are the same as me now i feel this year i have really had a word with myself and realized i need to invest in myself a bit more i'm getting a bit older now i am 31 i need to start taking an interest in my skin looking after it a little bit better looking after my hair more getting nicer clothes just stuff like that that's going to make you feel better don't generally just buy the cheapest stuff because it's the cheapest stuff really really think about it and invest in yourself you deserve it you deserve to look after yourself the best you possibly can because you look after everybody else in that way so why not yourself as well i have recently done this with my skincare i've changed my skincare range completely if you've seen my skincare routine video if not i will link it above but i did show you in that the products that i've switched over to so i have realized i need to spend a little bit more money on myself in that area and just buy nicer products to look after myself a little bit more another great idea is a pamper night now this is sort of going off what i've just said i love each night now having a nice little facial it doesn't take long but it definitely makes me feel better about myself and my skin feels so much better and healthier for it if you want to go the extra mile you can always have a nice little mini pamper night to yourself if you've got the time to do it i don't generally have that much time to do it but i will try maybe once a fortnight to make sure I have a really nice pamper night. So this is a brand that I have worked with for this video. They are called Up Circle and they kindly sent me one of their little pamper kits. Now the best thing about this is they are so inexpensive and so good quality. The products are really, really great. The little pamper kit that you can see I have is under £10. They do lots of different ones. They come in the sachets so you can have a couple of little pamper nights from the sets. I absolutely love the idea behind this brand as well. What they do is they recycle all the coffee grounds from all the millions and billions of coffee shops in London and they recycle them into skincare products. So all of the products smell absolutely amazing. I absolutely love them anyway. Coffee every day for me. And their products are all fantastic. They are a great company. They're doing such great work. I will link their website and the products that I used in the description down below. Please do go and check them out. They're really inexpensive and the products are fantastic. So another way I really enjoy to relax is to have a TV or a film night. Now I incorporate this with date nights and me and Danny will do this together. We'll find something really good on Netflix to watch or we'll find a new TV series to watch. At the minute we're watching the Madeleine McCann documentaries which is really, really fascinating. And I know that next month we've got Game of Thrones starting again. So we've got something that we like to sit down together and make sure we get like a nice hour, two hours, three hours to just snuggle up on the couch, blankets, nice drink. We either have a nice hot chocolate or a Horlicks, some goodies, and we will just sit and relax and watch something on the telly together. 
it's really important to stay connected, get out with your partner or your friends, your family, just to get away from the kids a little bit and remember you are allowed you time as well. It doesn't always have to be you and the kids taking them out, run around after them. You never get to sit down and talk to anybody if you're like me and my children. So me and my mum tend to do something really nice together every couple of months and we'll go out and we'll do something. We either have tickets to go and watch a show or we'll go to a concert or we'll go and have lunch somewhere. It's really, really, really important to make sure you stay connected with these people. And I only have a very close knit around me and I make sure I try to spend the time that I can with them. And even if you can't get out the house and you can't do that, make sure you've got your phone, ring somebody when the kids are in bed, get yourself a cup of tea, ring somebody, find that time to ring them or text them and just stay connected with people because it is really, really important. So saying no more, this is really, really important. This is definitely a top tip I have picked up for this year. It's something I've decided I really need to do more and I need to learn to live my life a little bit by this little idea in my head that I don't need to do everything. Everything that I'm invited to, if I can't do it, I can't do it. If I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. I don't have to feel guilty about saying no. Don't just say yes to people and agree to things to make other people happy if you know you're going into a situation like you're not going to be that happy in or that comfortable in. I've always suffered with really bad anxiety. I get really, really stressed out at the idea of having to go to a place and there's lots of people there. And if it's not something that I'm necessarily 100% behind and I want to go and do it, I find it's just dreadful being there and I really, really struggle. So I've decided I need to say no a lot more. I don't need to agree to things. I don't need to do things to make other people happy. I need to think about myself and do what makes me happy and what I am comfortable with. So don't feel bad about saying no to people. Sometimes you need to do it to get that little bit of time to yourself. I have such a busy life, especially at the minute. We just don't seem to find two minutes to do anything. So for me to agree to things is absolutely ludicrous at the minute when I don't even have time to sit down by myself and have a cup of coffee without a million things in my head that I need to do. Just remember to put yourself first and don't think about other people and how they are feeling before you think about yourself. That is the most important thing. Always put yourself first. Exercise. This is the final point on my list. This is the final idea I have for you all. Now I find exercise can be a bit boring, I'm not gonna lie. And it's quite difficult to do sometimes, especially when you've got kids. I absolutely hate the idea of going to the gym. It's not something I think I'm ever gonna be interested in, but I do really enjoy doing little gentle exercise like routines at home. So I've been trying to find things this year to get myself feeling a bit better. I don't want to lose weight. I know I'm not gonna be the skinniest in the world. I don't want to be the skinniest in the world. I don't want to be muscly. I just want to do things for cardio really, to make myself feel better, to get moving and to be more energized. So I've been trying to find routines I can do at home and routines that I can incorporate the kids with as well. Like when Elliot goes down for his afternoon nap, me and Elise have started doing little routines together. We'll find them on YouTube or other little things like that. So I have found this fantastic mum. I found her on Twitter. Her name is Manda and she is absolutely fantastic. She's got a business called Move With Mumma and she is based down south. I will leave all of her information in the description box down below. But she basically has a group where she invites mums along to do this exercise class with her and bring their toddlers as well. It's absolutely fantastic. It's such a fantastic idea. And I, I really, really genuinely hope she does amazing things with this because she really deserves it. It really is help for new mums who want to keep fit but can't due to having the kids there. It's such a fantastic idea. So Amanda has very kindly put together this little routine for us. It's more about stretching and feeling better about yourself and stuff. She can explain it a lot better than I can. So I'm going to leave you with Manza. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what you do to make sure you include a little bit of self-care in your life. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you all in my next one. Hi, I'm Manda from Move With Mama. 
we provide health and fitness packages for new mums and their little ones. I always promote self-care to our mums, whether it's getting a massage, taking some time out to exercise to clear your mind, or enjoying a nap when baby does. It's really important for your own happiness. So let's take a few moments to just breathe and relax through some really nice stretches. Okay, so we're going to start by lying on our back. And then we're going to give our knees a hug. So lift the knees and gently pull them towards your chest and then just hold them. And then we're going to really relax the shoulders back and down. And slowly let your spine sink into the mat. And we're just going to stay there and take some deep breaths. Close your eyes and just relax. Okay, for our next move, we're going to move onto our fronts. So if you just come over and onto your knees. We're going to have feet together and then knees a little bit wider. Just relax, don't force any movement. Relax your head into the mat and relax your shoulders. And we're just going to take some lovely deep breaths again and hold it there. It's a really nice stretch for the whole body.
time. 